All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over the Microsoft Advertising Keyword Planner. So it's gonna be my Microsoft Keyword Planner tutorial, how you can find keywords and how much search volume they have in Bing, in Yahoo, some of their search partners in AOL. So it's pretty much Microsoft Advertising's version of the Google Keyword Planner. And you can see as we go through it, it looks very similar to the old Keyword Planner or the old Keyword Tool that was really offered by Google AdWords. So if we come over here, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a Microsoft advertising account. So I have my Microsoft advertising account here. And what you can do is just click on tools right here and click on keyword planner. So that's going to allow you to find keywords and it's going to open up this page right here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. So you can enter all three here. So you can enter a landing page. You can enter a product category. So I've done both of those already. You can see it's home and garden. I'm going to be doing this for my website, Beachfront Decor today, just so you know the type of keywords that I'm looking for right now. And so I have my landing page, beachfrontdecor.com. Now what you can do is enter your products and services here. And really you just want to enter keywords to help find more keywords for your business and to find the search volume for the keywords that you enter. So you can enter up to 200 keywords here. So I'm just going to enter a bunch of keywords related to beach decor. We'll do, and I'll fast forward through this part a little bit and show you the final keyword list. Okay. So here's a good start. I've entered a bunch of keywords here. So related to lighting, lamps, wall decor, bedding, furniture, area rugs. So all of these different types of keywords for my website. And what you want to do is just enter the top keywords for your website, whatever the keywords that you're targeting are. Otherwise, what you can do is just get started with your landing page and you can always go back and enter more keywords after that. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. The other thing you can do is targeting. You can adjust the location targeting. So if you're targeting different countries or you're just targeting certain regions, you can enter those here. I'm just going to keep this as United States, but you can enter other things here as well. So we'll click on cancel. You can change language targeting if you want to. You can see you can do all search networks. So Bing, AOL, and Yahoo search and syndicated search partners. You can look specifically at just Bing, AOL, and Yahoo syndicated search partners or just Bing, AOL, and Yahoo search. I usually just leave this wide open just to get as much volume as possible. The other thing you can do is enter negative keywords here. So I'm going to do that in the next step. I'll show you why. You could do keyword filters. So average monthly searches contain a certain amount. You can adjust all of these in the next step. So keywords to include and then keyword options show keywords in my account. So these are going to be keywords that you would already be bidding on in your Microsoft advertising campaigns. So the next thing we need to do is just click on get suggestions. Okay. So the first thing you're going to see is search volume right here. So the date range is usually just 12 months. I've gone as far back as possible. So it allows you to go right now all the way back to August, 2017. It allows you to go back 24 months, I believe. So we can go back to August, 2017 to July, 2019, click on save. It'll show us our search volume for each of these months over time search options. So keyword filters, you can do some of these with average monthly searches. So you can see this over on the right. So let's just say beach lighting, for example, gets 80 average monthly searches. Maybe I just want to make sure it's at least 100. The other thing you can do is suggested bid. So you can look at certain keywords by suggested bid. I'm not going to narrow that here, but I can say suggested bid is greater than or equal to, and let's just say 25 cents here. So then it will narrow down any of these that don't have a bid of at least 25 or a suggested bid of at least 25 cents. And then add impression share. So if you are running advertisements in Microsoft advertising, it'll show you your ad impression share here. So you can narrow it down by that as well. Competition. So for the most part, these keywords all have high competition. Some of them have low or nothing. So if I'm just looking for keywords with medium or low competition, I can enter that here. If I'm just looking for a high competition, I can do that as well. So let's just do this. We'll do average monthly searches are greater than or equal to 100 and suggested bid is greater than or equal to 25 cents. So we'll click on save. So that will take out some keywords here. It's not going to take out any of the ones that you entered, but the ones down here it will take out that didn't come up in the top part. So the top part is all the keywords we entered. As we scroll to the bottom, it's going to be keywords by relevance here. And then you can also do keywords by average monthly searches. So the most average monthly searches, you can see these are a little bit more broad than the ones that I entered. And then keyword by relevance will just show the most relevant keywords to the ones we entered above. Now, the other thing we can do is enter negative keywords. So let's just say right here, you see area rug sale. And if we come over here, there's also ad group suggestions. So a lot of times the sale will show up here. So sale, rug, sale, clearance, rugs. 
So maybe what I want to do is negative keywords up here. So we'll click on this and you can just enter negative keywords here. So let's just say I want to do clearance and sale and we'll just do sales and we'll do deal and free. So we'll click on save. So now that's going to narrow down and take out some of the keywords from our keyword plan right now. Okay, so if we come over here to keyword suggestions, so you can group by ad group suggestions. So they'll put certain keywords in an ad group already. Now, I don't really like to use the ad group suggestions on the Microsoft Keyword Planner right now because let's just look at this nautical ad group. You can see it's rugs, home decor, theme decor, wall art, party decorations. I would probably group all these keywords into different ad groups as I'm building a campaign. So it might be useful for that if you wanna just take one at a time and do this and save it to your account. I'll go over that in a little bit. But I don't really use the group suggestions too often. It's not too bad if you're looking for something like nautical, coastal, and you're looking at some different keywords that include those words in them. So beach theme decor, beach bed spreads. Now, if you look over here at rug, for example, it's beach rugs. Rugs is definitely way too broad. Carpets, rugs, Wayfair rugs. So all these, it ends up being a little bit too broad for me for what I'm trying to target. I would rather just target this one keyword right here. So you can go group by group. I like to just go into the keyword suggestions, but if we come down here, you'll see anything that had sale or clearance or any of that is now out of this list in the Microsoft Keyword Planner. So we'll come up to the top here and a few more things that I wanna go over real quick. So you can adjust these targeting here. We added some negative keywords. So you can see there's keyword options, show keywords in your account. If you are targeting keywords, I'm not, so it's not gonna show them, but otherwise it would show which keywords you are already bidding on. Now the other thing you can do is keywords to include. So let's just say I only want to include keywords containing coastal, nautical, and beach. So we'll click on save. Okay, so now if we come over here, you're going to see it's going to remove all these different keywords that don't contain those words. So if you do average monthly searches, you can now find some of your top keywords, and they're all going to include nautical, beach, or coastal in them. So it's a great way to narrow down some of your keywords, so you're not bidding on any of these really broad keywords. Now, if we come up to the top here, the other thing you can do is if you see average monthly searches here, if we look at something like beach decor, you can click on this graph and it will show you that specifically for that keyword and how the keyword has trended over time. So you can see there's been a lot of growth with beach decor in general. It usually is the most popular during the summer months. So even if you start from May all the way through July and August, and then it starts to go down a little bit in September into October. So you can do this for any of these different keywords. So if we just look at something like coastal furniture, people probably buy this a little bit more all year round. So you'll see July and then in December it really peaks. So over here, you've seen it increase a lot in June 19 compared to June 2018. So it's almost over 1000 additional searches that month. So different ways that you can look at search volume and understand when people are actually looking for these products. Now, the other thing you can do is if we look at suggested bid over here, if you look at some of these keywords by the top suggested bid, that generally means that advertisers are bidding a little bit higher on these keywords. And usually that means there's more to get out of some of these keywords. So something like coastal lighting, coastal area rugs, nautical lighting, that means that advertisers are, are bidding a little bit higher because these keywords are giving them a positive return. So when someone searches coastal lighting, they go to a website, maybe their average order value is well over $100. So you're willing to bid one, two, even $3 on some of these different keywords. Whereas if you scroll to the bottom a little bit, beach bedding, so a little bit less expensive, someone buying, let's just say a $50 bedding set, you're not gonna be willing to bid as high on that keyword. So different ways to look at some of these different columns here. Average monthly searches obviously is the one I look at the most because you can see the search volume for people that are actually searching for these different keywords. Now the next thing I wanna go over, you can either export these keywords and just pull them into your own Excel file or something like that. So you can export them. It's gonna say 55 keywords here. Now the other thing I wanna do is show you how you can build campaigns on your Microsoft advertising account directly through the keyword planner. So if we come over here to search terms, let's just take this one right here, beach decor, we add selected to estimates. What it's gonna do is gonna create this ad group right here, beach decor, keyword is gonna be beach decor. And what we can do is click here, go to match type selected, and you can adjust the match type as well. So I usually bid on broad match modifier keywords where they include the plus sign in front of the keywords. But for now, what we can do is just make these phrase match keywords. So it's gonna adjust this to a phrase match keyword, and it's gonna show some weekly estimates over here. If we're bidding on this one keyword right here, you can enter a bit at the top, you can enter a daily budget. I'll do that at the end. So what we're gonna do is you wanna come over here and click on back to search. 
So now it's going to come over. We have beach decor right here. What we're going to do is click on coast decor, add selected to estimates. So now we have that here as well. We can do the same thing. Click on here, match type selected phrase match. So come back to the top, back to search, come over here. We'll do nautical decor. Now the thing, the problem with adding multiple ones at one time. So if you do nautical decor and beach lighting, add selected to estimates, what it's going to do is put them in the same ad group. So you can start grouping these right now if you want, but I'm going to come here and we're going to delete this. So some different ways that you can start building your campaigns, but we'll come back to search real quick. And let's just say I'll, I'll build lighting and lamps in the same ad group. We'll do nautical lighting, nautical lamps, add selected to our estimates. So you can see nautical lamps here. We'll click on it, match type, and we'll do phrase match. So I'm going to keep building this out a little bit and then go over estimates. Okay, so one other thing I want to show you is if we come back over here, so we come back to search. If you're in keyword suggestions here, you could also just come over here to ad group suggestions and add some of these ad group suggestions as well. And what we can do is just click on all four and we'll add all selected to estimates. So now we have four additional ad groups. We can always break these apart as we're building our campaign, but let's just take all these keywords over here. So we're going to come over here, match type selected, and we're just going to make them all phrase match. Okay, so now we have all these different keywords that we're bidding on. We've grouped things together by different ad groups. Generally, what I would do with these different types of keywords is probably separate everything out into their own ad group. So I might put something like beach decor and coastal decor together. You might group things together like nautical lamps, nautical lighting. Um, down here, you'll see some different things like nautical wall art compared to nautical wall decor. So you might group all of those things together. So I can always do that over time. So what we can do at the top here is you can see it's going to give us some weekly estimates based on these keywords that we're targeting. So if we set a max CPC, we'll just come up here and say, let's just say we're entering a bid of $1.50 and we'll do a daily budget of $25 and we'll click on get estimates. It's going to show us that our weekly estimates here are going to be 268 to 362 clicks with 574 to 776 impressions and our spend per week will be $20 to $27. Average position will say 3.55 to 4.8. And you can see right here in the graph where it's going to show that. Now, what we can also do is come up here to the bid. Let's just say we want to bid really high. I want to bid $3.50. We'll click on get estimates. It's going to increase our clicks, our spend, our average position will go up a little bit. And you can see this along the graph. So as you get to a certain point, as you set a huge max CPC, I would never bid this high on these keywords. I would probably bid somewhere around maybe a dollar twenty or less, maybe a dollar or less. So I'll probably try to keep my bids as low as possible so I can drive as much traffic back to my website. So it's really that simple to use the keyword planner and use some of these different options. There's a couple other things that I want to go over real quick. So if you go to save to my account, what we can do is create a new campaign. So what I can do is say beachfront decor. It will use the default bid that you used above. So let's just lower this. Let's just say we want to set a dollar bid and our daily budget will say $15. So it'll be our campaign and will beachfront decor search, create a new campaign, click on save and continue. And now the last thing we would have to do is create ads for our new campaign. So if we click on that, you can see we have a new campaign here. You can see there's no ads yet, so we're going to have to start creating ads. We have some of these different ad groups here. So if we click on our campaign, it's going to show some of the different ad groups down here at the bottom. Our bid strategy will automatically be enhanced CPC. Let's just come over here to settings real quick. You would want to make sure you go through settings so you have everything properly set up for your campaign. So the location targeting, language targeting that you want, any ad schedule you want to run, exclusions. Click on save here. The other thing we can do is just come to keywords. So I'll just show you this real quick. It'll show all the different keywords that we're bidding on. You can see right now they're all phrase match keywords. Now the other thing we can do is let's just say we come over here to beach area rugs. So we're currently bidding on some of these phrase match keywords. What we can do is click on add keywords here and we can just enter some modified broad match keywords. So let's just say we do nautical area rugs, beach area, rugs beach rugs and we can add more if we want to so this is another thing you can do is use some broad match modifier keywords click on save and it will add those ones there you can always pause these phrase match keywords you can adjust your match type right here go to exact phrase or broad i generally don't bid on broad match keywords without the modifier so the plus sign ensures that this individual keyword has to be in the search query and people are searching your targeted keywords so you can adjust this if you want we'll just click on cancel for now now, one last thing, we come over to the keyword planner here. We can click on done. We're going to come over here. We're going to come right back to the main page of the keyword planner. 
Now the other thing you can do is multiply keyword lists to get new keywords. So what you can do is in list one here, I can do something like beach nautical coastal. And then in list two, what we can do is enter a bunch of different keywords here and it's gonna multiply these lists together. So if we do beach, it'll be area rugs. Okay, so in list one, we have beach, nautical and coastal. List two, we do area rugs, doormats, bedding. So all the way down here, a bunch of different types of keywords here that would be relevant for our website dinnerware, wall decor, paintings, art, decorations, party decorations. So we could just come over here and do get estimates or get search volume. So if we click on get search volume, it will show the same thing that I showed you earlier. So it'll show the average monthly search volume for the last 12 months. We can come over here to keyword suggestions and you can see it's gonna build a keyword list by multiplying all these different keywords together. So you can see here, it's a little bit under 100 keywords. So you can see it's gonna put all these different keywords together here. So it's a great way to build keyword lists if you have some different keywords like I do for beachfront decor. You can look at average monthly searches, see what the most popular keywords are. And you can also do some ad group suggestions here. It'll break down some of these different keywords into ad groups. You can also just, let's just say, take all these again. We can do ad selected to estimates and it's gonna do the same exact thing that we showed you before. So you can get some forecast data on these keywords as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you don't adjust match types here, so if you could just see here, let's just say I click right here, max cost per click bid of $1.20, and it doesn't really matter what our daily budget would be, you can see it's gonna show a ton more clicks, a ton more impressions, a higher spend per week, but with broad match keywords, they're really not as relevant. You're gonna get a lot of unrelated searches in your account. So as you're doing forecasts, I would always come here and change your match type to phrase match. Now that's gonna adjust this over here. So you're gonna see our clicks are gonna go down, spend is gonna go way down, but you really wanna make sure you're targeting people as they're searching the most relevant keywords for your business. So these are some different ways to use the Keyword Planner in Microsoft. Hopefully it all makes sense. You can kind of adjust some of these settings over here. The last thing you can do is if we come over here to device, you can look at different things by device. So desktop, mobile, and tablet, you'll see it's gonna be the majority is gonna be desktop. You're gonna get some mobile, some tablet. Uh, you can look at which keywords are gonna drive the most for your business. So you're gonna see some of these things, something like beach accents, won't get anything at all really. If we look at the most, it's gonna be nautical decor, coastal bedspreads, coastal decor. So you can see some different ways to kind of look at your campaign before you build it. And you can also adjust targeted locations. It can break it down by markets or metro area so you can see where the most popular ones will be depending on the keywords that you're targeting. So there's a lot of different things to look at here when it comes to the Microsoft Keyword Planner. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.